relying more on yourself in your dancing. As time progresses through the summer, I plan on doing some advanced plus and C1 at two couple virtual dancing just like this. All right, so to start off with, I have everybody muted. I'd like to welcome everybody here. Hopefully you have a good time with this. You have lots of room to dance. You've got yourself all set up. Of course, when you're dancing, you're gonna be in a number three position looking at the screen. So I'm not looking at you rather than- Looking at the screen. Yeah, rather than looking at your back all the time. I wanna look at you. Next, this is your home spot. So when I say you're home, this is where you should be. If you're not home, just adjust back to this spot. If you get mixed up sometime during any sequence, just go back to home spot and pick it up for the next sequence. Sometimes I'll do something a little bit different. I'll repeat that sequence with some more helper commands, for example, that kind of stuff. All right, so let's get started. So some screens, I see one person, some I see two people. If it's two people, of course, you have two phantom dancers in direct in front of you. If it's three, your partner is a phantom or a missing person and two phantoms directly in front of you. This can be done with two or one real dancer. It doesn't matter. I've been doing this for quite a while at the C2 list level with a full square dancing it. So it can be done. So just be patient with it. Keep working at it and you'll have no problem in a short period of time. It will really build your dancer skills. And that's the purpose of this, developing your dancer skills and getting connected with the rest of the dance community uh, during this time of the virus. 